Hey there, my name is Cameron Shepard Beinberg, and I'm excited to explain my heart of why I want to be a part of the Bethel Songsmith Writing Retreat coming up this next year. I uh, just want you to get to know, be, know me a little bit more. Uh, I've been married for four years and four months and loved every aspect of marriage. It's just an amazing blessing in my life, and my wife and I live um, down in Southern California, where I get to serve on staff at a church down here as an associate pastor. And uh, we love our community, and um, actually a few members of our community um, saw the Songsmith writing retreat and really encouraged me to apply for it. And so um, I feel called to, to be a part of this, and I would love to be a part of this experience because um, it matches up with my heart. It matches up with what I feel called to. Um, when I was growing up in the church, I grew up in a portion of the church where there's a huge emphasis on knowing the Word of God and memorizing Scripture. And so, um, you know, I, I had a ton of great knowledge about the Word of God and a ton of great terminology about, about the Lord. If you gave me a, a, a verse in the Bible, I could tell you it. Or if you spoke out a verse, I could give you the, the address of it. Um, and uh, I had a great relationship with the Bible, but I honestly had no relationship with God. And it wasn't until my, my, my teenage years, my high school years, that um, I actually encountered the presence of God. And I actually encountered the one that people had given me all this terminology about. And I felt the Lord speaking to me and placing this call on my life um, of moving me just from having um, information about God to having actual relationship with God. And it's been from that place that I've felt called um, to, to craft creative content for the church to have so that people could come into actually knowing God intimately, to being in relationship with God, um, and of moving forward in, in understanding who it is that, that they're in relationship with and who it is that they're worshiping and serving. And so as a part of that, I would, I would love to be um, a part of this experience because I feel it just lines up with, with what I've been pursuing in that. Um, a few years back, I uh, wrote a book of poetry and songs and creative writing to hopefully stir hearts forward in that place. Um, I try to be a part of collaborating with worship leaders and ministries in, in the area and all over California. I was recently a part of a worship movement up in San Francisco called The Sound and, uh, you know, just releasing public worship in uh, Hippie Hill and watching, you know, old and young hippies come, come to experience the Lord and give their lives to Jesus. It was really beautiful and um, you know, I just want to do anything that I can to continue to stay obedient um, and faithful to what the Lord has placed on my heart. And I feel like this is an amazing opportunity to do so. Um, I'd really love to be a part of the Songsmith Retreat uh, to learn from people who have inspired and ministered to me uh, for, for a number of years now. And um, I really do uh, cherish the, the opportunity that it would be to sit under um, your leadership and your guidance and your wisdom um, and the revelation that the Lord's placed on your hearts in, in this atmosphere of worship music. Um, I'd love to grow and learn with other people all across the globe. Um, by no means have I arrived, and um, I, I'm always wanting to be in this place of learning more from others and, and having them impart to me, and if I have anything to give, impart to them as well. And, and ultimately, I, I just really want to be a part of um, a movement in the church where we are able to give great understanding of the Lord so that people could actually experience the Lord um, through song and through worship. And, you know, I, I, I preach often in our church and, and I love the opportunity to, um, and more times than more times than not, though, people are walking away, um, not remembering the things that we've said in our preaching, but remembering the things that we've sang and proclaimed and declared in our worship. And I'd love to be a part um, of a movement in the church of, of really crafting really creative and beautiful sounds and songs for people to sing and to carry that throughout their week and their relationship with the Lord, um, moving outside the four walls of the church and awakening other people, um, the songs and sounds that the Lord has placed in their hearts as well. Um, so ultimately, I'd love to be a part of that and uh, be poured into and hopefully pour in as well in any way that I can. So thank you for the honor of, of applying to this and uh, look forward to hopefully being a part of it.